Welcome to lesson 20, where we're going to introduce the topic of try, catch, and finally. Let's take a look at this. It, this is very handy if your code has some sort of error while it's running and you want it to keep running, but also possibly catch that error. That's why it's called try, catch. Try running this code. If there's a problem, catch it. And then you can also run an optional block called finally. So here we have a very simple loop. Var i equals zero, i less than equal five, and then display, uh, what's this answer thing? Hmm, where did that come from? There's no function here. There's nothing called answer. There's no variable called answer. This would have a problem. And if I paste that into scripts background, sure enough, I would get an error. Now, there is a way to catch that. Maybe that was unintentional and somehow made it to production. I'm not sure how you do that. But if I enclose that for loop with the crazy answer variable in here, inside of this block that says, try this curly braces match with the one on line eight, and then catch with an E parameter, it looks like a function, and it says, oh no, something happened. E is an object, it's got some properties, and one of those, we'll get to those these complex data types in a bit. I can use this E dot message notation to say, please display what happened, I don't know. Notice that I switched from GS info, which is often used for informational output, to error. So if I'm looking in the system log, I can actually find that and go, show me the errors, where did we have a problem? And then it will run down here to say done. Notice this other script never said done. It just crashed and said, bad time. I never even ran because I didn't get past the JavaScript gods. So let's trap that error, as it's called, and place that into here and run it. And it says, the script actually ran. I got down to done. I got to line 11. But it said, wait a minute, in the middle, I had an issue. It says, answer is not defined. So I can catch that in the system log. And in fact, if I go to system logs, system logs, and I look at system logs all in reverse error, it says, there's my error. Uh-oh, answer is not defined. And that's what I got out of my catch. It's like, phew, bad time for everyone. So let's go back to scripts background and look at one more. There's also this block we can put on after catch called finally. So even if that doesn't work, I can still run a little code. It's slightly different than running it out here to say, all right, go run whatever you want for the rest of your life. I'm good with that. It's part of this construct. So let's do this, paste it in there, try catch finally, good form to do that. Kind of makes sense, run that. And it looks like the other code did before. However, if I fix this and say, mm, let's declare var answer, var answer equals three. It still runs the done and I get my loop and everybody's happy. So finally runs regardless. Yes, it looks a lot like the previous example where done was just hanging on out there. But this explicitly says this is part of this block of stuff. Some people use it, some people don't. I encourage you to use try and catch as much as possible to prevent your script from dying in the wild, or maybe you're doing some sort of advanced code integration perhaps, and the result doesn't come back, or the result causes your code to fail. That happens a lot when you don't sanitize your data, it causes your data, your, your script to die a horrible death, maybe there's a misplaced quote, and you can catch this, but allow the script to continue running and say, you know what, just let the loop run. I'm going to put a loop around this try catch. So every time I try doing something with a record I just got, I will have a safety net that says, this one worked, this one worked, oh, that one didn't, rather than, and keep going. So if I've got 20 records and record number seven causes an issue, I don't die at number seven, I keep going. That's what try and catch can allow you to do. So I encourage you, use try, catch, and perhaps finally, if you're feeling adventurous in your code, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye.